flame retendant polycarbonate. Just to explain the thumbnail image, if you print a candle holder and uh, you forget about it and the candle burns out, it will still become soft and deformed, but it will not catch fire, unlike regular materials. Well, I'm back with another bamboo lab filament testing video. This is PCFR, flame retendant polycarbonate. And I apologize about my voice. I am sick almost 10 days, but I really have to do some progress with videos. This is AMS compatible filament, not AMS light, probably because it needs an enclosure and it is available in three colors. According to the website, it is impact resistant and it has good heat stability. Print settings on nozzle between 260 and 280 degrees Celsius, uh, bed with the glue between 90 and 110 degrees Celsius, speed up to 300 mm per second, this is quite big speed, and they recommend the drying 80 degrees Celsius for up to 8 hours. Let's see what's in the box. This bag is not resealable. The maximum temperature for the spool is 90 degrees Celsius for the drying. All the secure information that this is PCFR and the nozzle temperature between 260 and 280 and that the filament is glued but shouldn't be brittle. Actually, it is very flexible. They claim it's flame retended filament. Well, let's compare it with the regular polycarbonate. Oh, this is regular polycarbonate. And this is flame retendant. It melts, but uh, it don't catch fire. And of course, there are some applications, for example, in electronics or automotive industry, where this property is not only important, but mandatory. But I'm testing only mechanical properties, and I will include the data from the regular PC, and I will include here the results from the translucent black, because I tested three different colors here, and uh, this was one of the rare filaments where I noticed some uh, significant difference in mechanical properties between these three tested colors. I've started with the drying, but it will be only on 70 degrees Celsius, 4 hours. Printing will be on Bamboo Lab X1 cardboard, engineering plate with the glue on it. And of course, inside the enclosure. Let's see the settings in the slicer. We have the profile for this PCFR in the Bamboo Studio, 280 on the nozzle, 18 cubic millimeters per second will be the maximum flow, and this is the default part cooling. Default settings looks ok, no sign of the warping. And the printing is very fast. Printing is finished. And object looks very nice. Just quickly to check the shrinking, and I am measuring about the elephant foot. The design length is 80 millimeters. 79.61, that's approximately half percentage of the shrinking, which is very similar to the average ABS. And now I can start the mechanical testing. The tensile test with the horizontally printed test object. This is the average from 2. And now layer adhesion vertically printed. Hmm, too big difference. Difference between two test objects is too big, so I want uh, better statistics. So I have uh, four more test objects for the layer adhesion. And this time very constant. If we compare the tensile strength with the regular polycarbonate, we can see that PCFR is slightly weaker, but this is good tensile strength. On the layer adhesion test, don't forget this is the average from 6, uh, it is slightly weaker compared to the regular polycarbonate, but difference is not significant, but overall this is also good layer adhesion. Shear test side by side two object types. And this time very similar to the regular polycarbonate. Torque or twist test with horizontally and vertically printed test objects. 1.6 Maximum 1.7 1.2 Newton meters Interesting, usually the brake load is similar, only the vertically printed brakes more suddenly, but this time it was weaker. PCFR Zero position Intersex smooth surface on the broken cross section. Measured from zero position, the distance is 19 millimeters, and I can calculate the braking energy, 
And I even forgot how brittle is the regular polycarbonate, so yes, compared to this material, PCFR is uh, tougher. 3 point bending test, distance between supports is 50 mm and these loads will be placed one by one and I am measuring the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds and this is the deformation under 2.5 kg, under 5 kg and under 10 kg I can see some changes during the time. Compared to the regular PC, they have very similar curve Slightly more deformation on PCFR, but the difference is minimal. Temperature test in the oven, and the regular PC started to deform at 115 degrees Celsius. This one a little bit earlier on 105. At 123, I stopped the experiment and wanted to check how hard is this material. It's not completely soft, partly flexible. Creep test the deformation under the constant load. 16 points as you see. The last fifth day, let's measure it. 16.88. Let's remove the load. The creeping is very similar to the regular polycarbonate. Slightly more deformation I could measure on PCFR. And now that candle test, and I'm starting with flame resistant polycarbonate. And now some regular material. This frame is not only from the candle anymore. And finally it catches flame. I was expecting a little bit bigger fire, but this is enough for me for this experiment and I can stop it now. Our results one more time without any additional comments. And this one line will be added to that summary table for my Patreon supporters. So they can easily compare this data to any of those from the previous video. But here you can see it compared to the regular pork carbonate. Quick conclusions. Well, the mechanical properties are very similar to the regular polycarbonate. Uh, this one is slightly tougher, but overall this is still very really brittle material. But if you need this uh, flame resistance, then definitely this is a good filament for you. I actually have application for this material. I want to replace the back panel on my KD Plus 4 because I want to use bigger fan and I want to have more ventilation holes there. And I'm not expecting fire there, but uh, just in case, I mean, this is a good application for this material. If you have some other experience with this uh, filament, then write me a few lines down in the comment section. And just friendly reminder, my videos are not really recommended by YouTube algorithm. So if you like this kind of videos, then subscribe and enable that notification bell button too. Anyway, thank you for watching this video and happy printing.